What's up guys? It's your girl Bree and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this is my first time doing a voiceover and not gonna lie, it's a little weird. But anyway, I'm gonna show you guys how to create the perfect picnic starting off with this beautiful charcuterie board along with making some other snacks. So let's get into it. So the first thing we did was put the jam in a small bowl like on the side of the charcuterie board just so it doesn't like spill and get all over everything while we're eating. The next thing we did was start slicing up the Gouda cheese. We honestly though should have took it out the fridge first and let it defrost for a little minute because it was so hard to slice. My friend had a little bit of difficulty but like she persevered. She's honestly a real one. For the most part of this video you're gonna see her doing a lot of stuff because she is a culinary genius and we love her for it. So in case you're wondering my friend found this beautiful bamboo charcuterie board online on Amazon. I'll be sure to link it along with all the other items and ingredients we used for this video down in the description box below. So now my friend is cutting up the brie cheese in a bunch of big triangles. We did that instead of slicing it just so at the picnic we could take a knife and kind of scoop out the cheese on the side and spread it on whatever we decided to eat it with. So next we just simply put like a little vine of grapes in the top right hand corner of the board. Then we moved on to doing the meats. We took the first meat which was the bruschetta and we kind of like just decided to scrunch it up and put it on the board just to make it look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing to the whole picnic vibe. Which actually was like the best idea ever because I mean come on now. You see the board it's cute or whatever so here I am finally in the shot <laughs> but anyway I put a whole bunch of little teeny tiny toast spread across the board we decided to go with the little mini toast rather than crackers because we wanted to be a little bit different you know then after putting the crackers we just put a bunch of salami like in the middle of the board then lastly my friend brought these really cute pepitas nuts and just spread them all throughout the board just to give it a little bit of a razzle dazzle you know what I'm saying so there you have it folks a beautiful and complete chartreuse board now can I get a round of applause Thank you, thank you, you all are too kind. So after we finished the charcuterie board, we then just like saran wrapped the whole thing. This made it a heck of a lot easier to transport it from the house all the way to the park, making sure nothing spilled or any ants got inside of it. Afterwards, we just started on the fruit. We were able to pick up this cute little combo at our local grocery store. It came with raspberries, blackberries, and blueberries. My friend just kind of mixed them up together in a little bowl just so we could have a cute little bowl of fruit. Then we just put a lid on it and packaged it up inside of the picnic basket, which by the way, y'all, I am obsessed with this picnic basket that I picked out from Bed Bath & Beyond. It comes with a warm side and a cool side, which we put all of the fruits and jam in. And this picnic basket is big enough to accommodate four whole people. It was such an insane price. We only got it for 45 bucks. Anyway, we continue cutting up fruits. We cut up strawberries as well as tomatoes. So for the strawberries, we decided to cut them in cute little halves and cut off the stems in advance so it's easier to eat. And then for the tomato slices, we already started prepping them so we can make our BLTs. Once we were done with the strawberries, we went ahead and put them in a container and then also put them on the cool side of the cute little picnic basket. Then we just cut up the tomatoes into four slices and my friend had the perfect idea to put those slices in a separate bag so that way we wouldn't make the BLTs all soggy before we even got to the picnic and ate them. Then we just started picking the perfect pieces of lettuce to use for our BLTs and then my friend went to town on these sandwiches. And by the way, you guys, we definitely used turkey bacon for these sandwiches. And if y'all are sleeping on turkey bacon, then child you better wake up because turkey bacon is so good anyways we then just cut up the sandwiches into four slices so they can be cute little finger sandwiches for us to quickly grab then we just started packaging the sandwiches in the food tent which also by the way you guys I got this food tent from Bed Bath & Beyond I'll be sure to link it down below and I think I only paid like seven bucks for it which is awesome because this is a must-have for every picnic simply because it helps by keeping the flies out while you guys eat also while making the sandwiches we went ahead and put some chocolate chip cookies inside of the oven and y'all they came out looking fresher than ever these cookies were so warm and so good so once we were done with that we put more stuff in the basket like the napkins cups and straws we couldn't fit everything inside of the basket so we did happen to put some other stuff in a different basket then after this we were finally on our way to the perfect picnic spot that my friend picked out for us and once we got there we immediately started setting up and by the way the scenery was beautiful and it was a little humid that day but despite it being so hot that day we still persevered and set up the picnic beautifully if I may say. Just looking at the final setup made us feel so proud and also beforehand we managed to pick up macaroons and the watermelon cake. And of course y'all already know we stopped at Raisin Cane's to get some finger licking chicken and some fries. And from there we just sat back, enjoyed each other's company, and had the perfect picnic. We can build a tree house in the pine trees. We can keep our secrets buried underneath. Alright 
guys that's it for today's video thank you so so much for watching please make sure y'all to like comment and subscribe to your girl's youtube channel and turn that notification bell on to be notified when i upload a brand new video also add your girl on instagram at brianna underscore calix as well as on snapchat at red and black princess and stay tuned for a little tiktok video i made of our picnic but for now bye guys